What's up everybody, Abbas here from Golden Motor. I was just installing this Bafang mid-drive on this bike right here, and I thought I'd make a quick video on how to actually measure your bottom bracket. And is your bottom bracket uh, compatible with the Bafang mid-drive? So that's one of the most common questions we get from beginners who are installing it. So in this video, we're gonna cover that right now. So this is your bottom bracket shell right here that holds the bottom bracket on which your um, cranks go. And this is what you have to remove to put your mid-drive in. So you have to measure this and see which mid-drive is gonna be compatible with your bike. So a caliper would be the most accurate way of doing it. You can also use a tape measure. So this is the important part right here. You're measuring from this side to this side, not with the attachment. So for example, if this bottom bracket was in, a lot of people make a mistake of measuring from the end of the bottom bracket to this uh, part right here, which is inaccurate. It's gonna give you the wrong bottom bracket size. You just wanna measure from the metal over here, from the housing to the housing right here. So let me use my caliper and measure it. So that is a 73 millimeter bottom bracket. and. So 68 and 73 is your most common bottom bracket shell sizes. Uh, so this one's a 73. So your typical BBS HD, BBS O2, uh, this will fit in perfectly in it. So that's one thing you have to know for sure to see if, you're, if your Bafang is gonna fit on there. The second most important thing you have to measure is the inner diameter of your bottom bracket shell, which you can do with your caliper or your tape measure caliper is going to be better so let's see so basically the inside of the bottom bracket shell the diameter is and did I do that right let's see thirty three point five or thirty four there we go thirty three point five or thirty four close to 34 and that is again a very common size and that's so this bike you don't have to make any modifications it has a six it has a 73 millimeter bottom bracket with a 34 uh, millimeter um, diameter and the buffet will go in just nice and sweet on here so you don't have to make any modification that's your most common sizes in most bikes anyways so let me show you this goes in nice and clean should go nice and clean oh there we go so other sizes of the bottom bracket could be between any time anywhere between 73 and 100 millimeters and that's where you would get the 100 millimeter um buffang kit with the shaft size of 100 millimeters and then they could be either if it's a fat bike it could be between 100 millimeters and 120 and again buffang has a 120 millimeter kit that you can put on your bike um, other types of bottom brackets like press fit bottom brackets uh, another common one is a um, bottom bracket uh, bb86 and 92 which has an inner diameter of 41 millimeters it's a press fit 41 and uh, you would need this beautiful kit from lecky as an adapter where you can use a press fit bottom bracket of 41 millimeters and you put this on your bike and then the buffang fits in perfectly uh, another common one is the PF, the PressFit 30, which has an inner diameter of 46. And then again, Lecky has a um, adapter kit for that. So if you want to put that on your bike, uh, that also works on there. So again, if you have a bottom bracket inner diameter of 34, you can put in the, the kit uh, just normally. If you have a PressFit 41 millimeter in, inner diameter, uh, Lecky has a kit. We have a um, we have a kit for that that you can put it on there. And if you have a press fit 30, we have another adapter for that where you can put it on your bike. Um, that's the most common questions we get regarding bottom brackets. Uh, if you have any questions regarding this video or any of the questions you would like answered, just comment below. And hope to see you guys next time.